Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you on the 1st of January 2022. Made it another year, that's cool. Um, so, another good year for Diecast. This is going to be a abnormal episode here because I'm not going to show you anything new that I got because I, you know, I did get some stuff. I got some pretty some pretty cool stuff actually we're gonna save it for next week i apologize about that but what is going to be cool about this is we're going to do sort of a lamley awards video here um i did write a an article for lamleygroup.com that i will by the time this video is up it should be posted um it is going to be my top 10 new toolings of 2021 and uh that should post at the exact same time as this video. I will put a link in the description of this video for you to go check out that article. Likewise, in the article, there will be a link to this video. So two different top tens. Uh, so the top 10 we're gonna post to the blog is gonna be, again, my top 10 new toolings of the year 2021. Uh, toolings that I thought stood out and um, you know, just the first things that came to mind when I thought of what are the top ten toolings? And I and I wrote up a little a little article. It's a, it's brief. It's not super long read. So go ahead and check it out. I took some decent pictures, I think, too. So uh, check those out. I really would appreciate it. Now this video is going to be my top ten acquisitions of 2021. So and I cheated a little bit. I had to. Um, there's a lot of cars that I got in 2021. I mean, we're talking 52 weekly videos worth, basically, of uh, vehicles. Uh, when you start adding that up, it gets a little insane. Um, so there's a lot of really cool cars I got. So I kind of tried to give it, you know, sort of a wide representation. Spoiler alert, there is a ton of auto world that we're going to look at today. Um, but... You know, I just tried to keep it to stuff that's really hard to get or stuff I got from, from friends and uh, kind of a mix of things. I'm sure I forgot somebody uh, that's given me something in the last year that was really special. Um, but just when trying to narrow it down to 10 pieces, even with my, you know, there's going to be more than 10 pieces we're going to look at. Uh, so even with, you know, my cheating on this uh, list here, uh, I'm sure I still forgot something or left something out. Um, it's just really hard. It's really hard when you get to these end of the year lists and trying to think of the whole, you know, the year as a whole, what all has come out. Um, you know, it's difficult. It's really hard. Try to make a top 10 list of your own. I mean, it's it's hard. So what I think I'm going to do in preparation, I say this now, but who knows, in preparation for next year, I'm going to be a little bit more organized and kind of keep track a little bit closer to everything that I pick up this year. And that's going to include anything that shows up in a weekly video um, from starting next week through the end of the year. And then we'll wrap around to 2023 and I'll be doing another one of these probably. So round and round we go. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to show you anything in this camera angle. We're gonna go ahead and flip it around. We're gonna look at that stuff up close. But before we do that, I do wanna thank all of you for watching my channel throughout the past year and the prior year and you know all, all the bunch of years I've been doing this now. Um, I really do appreciate it. I'd like to uh, you know definitely shout out John and Lamley. Um, you know, I haven't written a lot or really anything for the blog um, in the last year. I just have not really had the time I know it sounds like an excuse, but it's pretty much factual. Um, so, you know, I might try to write a little bit more for that blog this upcoming year. We'll see what happens. Um, I'd like to get back into some photography with some of the picture or taking pictures of these cars. I might even pick up a camera. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of tossing around the idea of picking up a digital SLR and kind of getting more into photography because I've always kind of had a passion for it and kind of enjoyed it uh, dating back to like my high school years. So um, it might be time to pick up a camera. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Like I need another hobby, right? All right. But uh, yeah, so again, thank you guys very much for watching this channel. I really do appreciate it. I know I'm kind of small fries compared to some other channels and stuff like that, but I do think I have a pretty uh, loyal following and I am uh, cognizant of that and very thankful for that. So 
Uh, thank you guys again. All right, so let's go ahead and flip this around. Let's take a look at these cars. Um, should be a fun one, hopefully. I mean, there's going to be a lot of auto world, you know, but there's some other stuff too. So, hey, you know, you'll just have to stick around and find out, I guess. All right, let's go. Let's get right to it. All right, so let's get right into it. I am going to try to remember as best I can where I got these from um, and all that stuff. And, you know, obviously I'll be able to explain why this, why these cars are showing up in my top 10 or why I thought of them to be included. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to start with Hot Wheels. And uh, we're going to start, this will be number one, I suppose. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully we counted correctly when I set this up. All right, so... Number one is this guy right here. This is an older Super Treasure Hunt. Um, I guess it's getting a little old now. Uh, this is the Datsun 240Z. I always knew this was going to be a tough one to get. I never sought after it too hard. Um, to be honest, these are kind of tough to find at a good price for one. For two, it's also tough to find one that's got pretty clean tampos on it. I've noticed a lot of them have issues when I've been looking for them. This one's a pretty solid example. This side is not as good as this side. Um, but I've always noticed that this one's a little tough. I do have the regular car as well here. So I was really happy when I actually got one of these regular treasure hunts. And then I was really stoked to get one of these. Now I picked this up at uh, one of my local meets. Um, and I believe I purchased it off of Jeremy Bolter, someone I've mentioned quite a few times on this channel over the years. Um, he's local to me. Uh, he's got a pretty amazing collection. Um, and uh, recently, this collection has taken a bit of a backseat to... Uh, he bought a property up north and stuff like that. And he's been spending a lot of time with that, so he hasn't really you know been around too much been around the hobby too much uh as of late but i do appreciate it. he was selling some stuff and he sold this set of and i think he gave me a really good deal i think on it as i recall and i'm trying to remember um but yeah so and he's gonna pop up again i think in this episode yes he definitely will all right so this would be number one would be the Datsun 240z super treasure hunt a piece that I think should be in anybody's collection that collects Hot Wheels I think it's definitely a sought-after piece and it is a nice one if you can find one again that has um, solid tampos so very very cool that is car number one now car number two is also a super treasure hunt the reason why I included this one in here is because I just thought this this Super was going to be a tough one to get. Um, it was one I definitely wanted. Um, the price I got this for is really what put it in this list. I picked this up, I think, for... It was either... I think it was 30 bucks, $30. So, and that may seem expensive to some of you, but for the Super Treasure Hunt, I think this is a really good deal. I got it later in the year for $30. bucks. Um, and I think it's one of the best supers ever. I I really like it. I like this casting. I think this casting is awesome. Um, I think this is a fantastic looking car. Again, I picked this up at a local meet from somebody that was selling there. I do not recall the gentleman's name. I do apologize. He's only been, I think, to a couple of meets. And I purchased it from him. Um, really lucky to snag one of these he had two of these for sale in retrospect i probably should have picked up the other one at that price as well um, it probably would have made a good trade bait or even something for me to hang on to for a while in the future for a rainy day who knows uh, but i probably should have snagged on the other one and i didn't um, but that's okay somebody else got a really good deal in it because it did sell there here's the the regular course next to the super and um it's just a really cool super treasure hunt. Um, just a fantastic little piece. I just I just think they did a great job with it. It's nice that it's got taillights and stuff. It's got the kind of illusion of having full deco because it doesn't really need anything on the side. And you've got the uh, headlights are part of the window piece and all that. And it's just got a TH logo. And uh, you got the taillights right there. So it just looks good. I, I think it's one of the best looking super treasure hunts that there is out there. Um, it's one of my favorites. And that's what's odd about it is I usually don't like blue supers all that much. 
um because i don't think the paint's all that impressive but on this piece i think it looks uh fantastic so all right so that is number two on to number three number three i had to include because i missed out on getting one of these and this sort of is a casting that i i sort of collect uh this mustang and this is the rlc pink whatever party rlc whatever edition thing um i missed out on getting one of these and i was kind of bummed about it because i i did want to snag it in um but i just wasn't able to get one and that's too bad but uh steven meeks um who is a, a viewer of the channel uh gifted me one and uh that is just amazing i you know sometimes i have a hard time accepting gifts from people because it's like i don't know it just feels like i don't really deserve it um but i i had to say yes to this because i just really wanted this piece and uh and he graciously uh, gifted one to me so i really do appreciate it but uh thank you thank you very very much i don't know if i sent him something i think i did trade him something for it but I think it was the trade was somewhat lopsided or whatever. If is I, if I'm recalling correct, I just don't I don't quite remember. But I know uh, the deal was is he wanted me to have this piece. It's a beautiful car in pink. I think it looks great. Some people may not like these because they don't have real rider tires. They've got the neoclassic wheels. I think it looks fantastic. Um, I think it looks really really good. Uh, you guys may you know agree or disagree. I don't know, but I think it looks really good so this is number three another hot wheels so we got three of ten are hot wheels and then we are done with hot wheels now we're going to have a big swath of auto world and i promise you there's something other than auto world at the end so you know stay tuned even if you're not a huge auto world fan you guys know i am i think anybody that watches my channel would probably have to like auto world a little bit otherwise they would get real sick of me uh very very quickly because obviously i show a lot of it i was actually before we get to that i was going to do like a montage of like all the ultra reds i got throughout the year but i decided i didn't want to spend like three days editing a video together and having to download all my because i don't save any of my videos i'd have to go back to youtube and download everything I know that's not great to not have any backups of anything, but whatever. It's just I don't have anywhere to put them. And uh, it would have been a, a nightmare to try to do that. I may try to do something uh, throughout the year so that I could maybe do something cool like that next year. We'll see. But I just think this is a beautiful piece. Uh, thank you very much, Stephen, for this. Now we're going to get into some Auto World. Um, and we're going to start with Surplus Goodies. Um, the reason why, well, first of all, Here's the two Ultra Reds for the two releases that basically came out this year in 2021. I think maybe this one's the only one that technically came out in 21, 2021. I'm not sure. I got both of these in 2021. And I'd have to look back to see, but I know I included these for a reason, both of them. This is the more recent release, is this one here. This These are both the Chases. Um, the reason why I included these is just because Jimmy at Surplus Goodies... Uh, it's just a super good dude, and I, I'm very, very gracious that he is willing to work with me, you know, I and hook me up with some stuff to show on the channel. Now, these are the chase cars. We're going to look at the, the regular ones real quick. Here's the dirty version of this one that looks fantastic. Uh, but anyway, you know, I, I know I, I'm not, you know, John Lamley Group, they're, they're the king of the diecast YouTube, really. I mean, he's the king of YouTube. Uh, as far as diecast goes he's got the most subscribers and stuff like that even though his, i don't think his subscriber thing is published but i can tell you it's a lot and uh gets a lot of views gets to work with a lot of brands a lot of brands work with him and send him stuff and like that stuff like that now i've been very very thankful that i've gotten some help as well um being that i have you know 11 th almost twelve thousand subscribers but not you know the massive amount of reach um, you know, that John has and John, you know, John gets to work with a lot of brands and he deserves it because he's got, you know, that large following, um, you know, I'm working on it. Uh, but, uh, it's really nice when, you know, someone like Jimmy is willing to work with me and send me stuff to make videos. And he's always now sent me his trucks. 
uh, his exclusive trucks. And I think they're fantastic. They're awesome. They're very limited. I definitely recommend that you guys, if you haven't picked them up, that you go for them. He's got some more that are coming out that are going to be amazing. Um, I did get some sneak peeks of some of them, and uh, they're going to be really, really cool. So I'm including all these together as number four, okay? So we got the surplus goodies, uh, Chevy trucks. Uh, you, if you guys like cool die casts and stuff like that, you're looking for a reliable hobby dealer. I, I can't recommend him anymore. He's just super reliable, um, fantastic dude. Uh, just a good dude all around and uh, I just I definitely recommend it and the other thing is it's just it's so cool to have the ultra reds of these because I knew uh, these were going to be tough pieces to get and me being an auto world uh, collector and sort of wanting to be an auto world completion completionist um, <laughs> I thought that these were going to be near impossible to get if I didn't get a little bit of help and he was able to um, at least um, hook me up with a good deal on on those and then he also hooked me up of course with a set of the regular cars just to show so he caught me a set of those and i'm very gracious for that so again thank you jimmy look forward to another year of really cool uh auto world chevy truck exclusives uh coming from you uh that's going to be fantastic all right sticking with chevy truck exclusive we got another person that was willing uh to work with me it was uh j car j car diecast um, again, a really nice guy, uh, super, super dude, um, good hobby dealer, uh, definitely has some cool stuff for sale all the time. And this exclusive, I think is his best. Um, these pink trucks with flames. And the reason why I'm including this, cause he did send me this set. So he sent me the clean one. He sent me the dirty one. And then he also sent me one of the ultra reds there's actually two different ultra reds variations there's a clean one and a dirty one i got the clean one and he sent me one of these uh and i was very surprised to actually see that when i opened the package that i got one of these so this piece really counts is what number are we on one two three four five wait what no yeah five <laughs> We're going to lose track. I know it's only counting to 10, but it's, somehow that's difficult. So, again, the J-Car Diecast ones, if there's, if you're only wanting to pick up one particular hobby exclusive uh, from J-Car, it's this one. This is the, this thing is just so cool. And it's different from what anybody else was really doing. So, I, th I just thought that was really cool. These are just really, really neat pieces. Um, very neat. So... So check that out. So. All right. So that is number five. Moving on to number six. And again, number six is going to be... I cheated on number six too. So we got premium release three Auto World Ultra Reds. And we're including both of these cars. I got these cars pretty much back to back. And let me tell you, they are tough ones to find. And I think I paid I paid a good price, I think, for sure, for this one. I think I got a good deal on that one. Um, but if you're not familiar with the Auto World Release 3, there's a, there's a Premium Release 3 and there's a Licensed Premium Release 3. And both of those releases are just difficult they just didn't produce a ton of them and you know they're getting a little old now when the, yeah 2014 is the production date of these so that's you know we're in 2022 now guys so that's a why a, a while ago that's what are the eight years am i adding correctly who knows um so yeah uh, I promise I'm actually pretty decent at math. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> these are getting older now and they're getting still difficult to find. They were difficult to find, honestly, even when they were out. Um, and it's just really cool. And these are the two I needed to complete the set. I did do an Auto World uh, complete uh, premium release three video. Um, so if you look back on the Auto World playlist, you can check that out. Um, I did a complete video on the set now that it's finally um, completed. Uh, so you can check that out. I do have the regulars here if we want to just take a peek at that. So we got, here's the Impala in red, black. 
for a while, like these, the regular versions of these cars are actually not not easy to get either. So if, if you guys, you know, if you guys see any of these available um, from that release, not just the chases, but if you see any of them from that release, I highly recommend just snagging them if you find them at a cheap price. Worst case scenario, if you want to get rid of them, I'd buy them from you. <laughs> Because I will, anytime I see any of them, whether I have it or not, uh, from those releases and they're inexpensive, I will, I will snake them. I'm always not going to throw money at a ton of duplicate cars I already have, uh, but it's worth hanging on to this set in particular and the next one that we're going to look at. So, um, yeah. So, definitely would recommend uh, picking those up. All right, so that is, where are we on? Num that was number six. All right, number, making sure we did have 10 here. All right, number seven, uh, surprise, surprise, it's going to be more Auto World. And we're also talking release three. But this time, we're talking license premium release three. We're going to include these two cars right here. So... And I got these almost back to back as well. This one right here was an eBay purchase. I was just so happy to find it at a good price. This one right here was a gift from Michael Newland. So if you're not familiar with who he is, he does the Toy Rewind podcast, which I uh, recently made an appearance on, which was very fun. Um, he also, I believe he admins at least, or he might even have created the Auto World um, Collector uh, Facebook group, which is a useful resource for Auto World fans. Um, so he gave this to me. He had an extra one, and he knew I needed it, and he just hooked it up, which is just honestly unbelievable. So these are licensed premium release three cars. So this is, again, it's a very, very difficult set to complete, um, and I still don't have it complete. I am missing one more car yet, and it's a Chevelle ultra red so i need that one once i have that car i will finally have that set complete and that will bring me all the way up to 2017 premium release four before i am missing any ultra reds i have two one ultra red actually because i did get one of them i got it from my buddy crazy todd that may show up on next year's video um and then uh i'm missing uh, i think a barracuda from that from that release and then i'll have that release complete and that will bring me all the way up to uh i don't know somewhere in 2020 before i'm actually missing an ultra red so that's pretty awesome i don't have a lot to go before completing um my auto world sort of collection or having it up to date but they're tough to find and that's why it takes forever to find them and it's not like you can even just throw money at the problem because you have to find them to throw the money at it so Anyway, very, very thankful, especially for this one uh, from Michael uh, Newland. So I really do appreciate that, buddy. Thank you very much. I'm grateful for this car. This is a fantastic ad. Plus, it's a Trans Am, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. So I do really appreciate it. Also, this thing is pretty awesome, too. It's my favorite release of the Dodge Dart Swinger. I do have the regular ones here. We can take a quick peek at. I had to get those out. This is just a really cool release. And again, if you see any of these the regular ones even, and you see them at a good price, snag them up because they're they're really cool and they are difficult to find. And I know that from experience because I've been looking for Auto World for quite some time. I'm on my conquest of completion. So there's those. And then, I, of course, um, I do have the complete set of these as well. So, And again, so if you find these Trans Ams, in these colors um, pick them up so really cool all right so where does that put us i like i talk for a long time and then i forget what what freaking number we are on um we're gonna be on number eight right eight, nine ten is what i got left well i can leave these transams out because number eight is this guy which is the raw of this Trans Am. 
and this is where we get to bring up Jeremy Bolter again. So my local buddy had one of these. He traded for it uh, off of Instagram a long time ago, and then he just held on to it, uh, knowing that eventually it would enter my collection, and finally I was able to make an offer for it and pick it up. So this is an Ultra Raw. Technically, these are 1 of 10 pieces. I think there was some factory shenanigans with this License Premium Release 3 where they did... Some of these were factory pulled and sold on eBay. I don't know that this is one of those. I'm not sure if it happened with every casting in the release. Um, what I can tell you, I think, actually, though... Well, this one is tough to find. I mean, but you do see Ultra Raws from License Premium Release 3 pop up actually more often than you see the Ultra Reds pop up, which is very odd because there's there shouldn't be more Ultra Raws than Ultra Reds. So just a warning on those. Um, I don't know if that's the case for the Trans Am. I don't. I, I've never seen this, I don't think, pop up on eBay. I don't think I've ever seen one at all, except for the one that, that Jeremy had. And um, and again, he hooked him up with a good deal. I think I actually got that at the same time I got this, if I recall correctly. So that was a good day <laughs> for me um, to, to get that. So really, really cool, ultra raw, ultra rare. And even if they are, even if there were a few factory pulls or whatever it was, that they made a little bit more than 10, it doesn't matter because it's still a very, very difficult to find piece. Good luck trying to find one. And then when you do find one, um, good luck getting a good deal on it because, it, you know, these things go for some crazy prices sometimes. And this is a very desirable casting as well. So, of course, um, it would go for uh, a very good price to, uh, so I was very thankful to be able to pick it up for what I got it for. And I don't really exactly remember. I think it was partial trade, partial cash. And uh, whatever it was, we worked out a good deal, and I was able to get it So and add it to my collection. I only have a few raws in the collection. Um, a few. You know, I got more than I ever thought I would have. I think I'm... I want to say I'm up to like seven or eight. And uh, I definitely have more than I ever thought I would have. Uh, but... Uh, so I'm thankful for each and every one, but this is the one that I got this last year. So definitely had to include it in this top 10 list because of just how hard these are to get, unless you have a ton of money to spend. So, and even if you do, again, you got to find them to spend the money, not a super easy task. All right, last Auto World in our number nine. Number nine is this guy right here why is this special well if you watch my channel enough or if you've seen the particular episode where i acquired this vehicle you may know why this is special and it is special because i believe it is in the first run of ultra reds for license premium release one and i say that because this one um, is the version where it not only has inserted headlights which is normal for this casting but it also has the inserted taillights so it actually does have separate pieces for the taillights. All subsequent pressings of this release, we'll say, or runs of this release, had painted uh, taillights, not the uh, inserted ones. I found this one packaged at a local meet. You guys are sensing a theme here. I find a lot of stuff at my local meets. Um, this is the second casting from Auto World. This was produced in 2013. So, and I got this from my buddy Donovan, who lives in Wisconsin, and uh, he lives pretty far away, though, from where I live, And uh, but he does show up to the local meets every once in a while. He makes it maybe a few times a year, and he had this piece um, on his table, and he gave me a really good price for it, and uh, it's kind of hard to value this piece because they're, they're difficult to find, of course. You can find the Ultra Red of this Camaro. It's not that hard to come across. But it comes in four different variations. And trying to suss that out uh, based on the pictures that you see in eBay listings, especially since most of the cars on there are packaged and it's difficult for you to see, um, it just makes it hard to kind of wade through what's out there and try to find what you're looking for. This one 
So this one has the black interior. It's got the uh, inserted headlights and taillights. I also have one with a that is a black interior with the painted taillights. And I also have one with a orange seats or red seats. And that one has painted taillights. I need to find now, there's one last version I got to find. And that's going to be this one with the inserted taillights and red seats. So if any of you come across that, please alert me. Um, and then technically, once I have that, then this release from Auto World will now then technically be complete. Now, I have done a complete video on the series just because of the fact that, um, you know, for the most part, you can count it complete. But there are some few, there's a couple weird ultra red variations in there. And uh, one of them is this car. The other one is the Oldsmobile 442 has a ultra red variation as well. And... Um, so, and, and I've, I've shown that in a video, but very, very cool to get this. Now, last up, this one's a big time cheater because yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I had to mention my buddy Die Castro, right? You guys know, I mentioned him a lot. So he's my Romanian friend uh, that I hub for here in the U.S. And every once in a while, he sends me a package as a thank you for my service. And every time he does, he sends me some really cool stuff. Uh, also, sometimes he occasionally just throws in green light, buys me some stuff and whatever. So he tries to compensate me for my time. I do appreciate that. Um, but this one box was pretty much over the top. I was not really, I wasn't like 100% excited about these when I first got them. And then when I opened them up, I mean, they're Kyosho. They're Kyosho Ferraris. And I got 10 of them from them. Um, so that's a top 10 in and of itself. And then I opened these up and I realized how beautiful these cars are. And then you start looking them up on eBay and I'm like, holy crap, man. He gave me these cars. Um, these were all ones you had to assemble. And wow, did these things go for a ridiculous price on eBay. I'm like, I, that, it's unbelievably generous of him. I don't know what he got these for, um, but was able to send them to me and that was just crazy so i got these in these cases these are not kyosho cases by the way this is just how i've been displaying them because you can stack these cases so i'll pull them all kind of out and we'll just kind of spin them all around and kind of just take a peek at each one here so this one first one's the 458 speciale a in this red blue and white and i think it just looks fantastic um so so just super cool and really good quality. These Kyosho is a fantastic brand. I definitely recommend collecting them. I wish they would get back on it and make some more 164 scale stuff, but they basically make barely anything in 164 anymore. Um, I'm gonna pull this next one out. This next one is the same tooling, just a different color. 458 Speciale A. And very nice looking car. Um, Again, this one in white. I can't decide which one I like better. I couldn't decide which one to pick for a favorite, so obviously we're going to look at all 10 of these cars because why not? We got the time, right? I got the time anyway. You guys can always pause and come back, I guess. Um, so there's that one. And then we got the 458 Speciale in black, but not the, uh, the A. This guy right here. And I'm trying to get these all back in the case as we do it here, so keeping track of which ones I show you. Just fantastic. You know, the, the era of Ferrari that I'm, like, a big fan of isn't necessarily the more modern stuff. I do tend to gravitate towards the 80s stuff, early 90s stuff. Uh, that's why I wasn't terribly excited about these at first, but now, I mean, now that I have in my collection, they're just, they're, I'm always going to hang on to them. They're, I just think they're really, really cool. And again, these are not easy ones really to get a hold of. So that factor too kind of makes them kind of neat. Um, and the next one is the La Ferrari, pretty wild Ferrari. Here we go in red with black rims. Majority of these have blacker rims, I'm actually realizing as well, which some of you are probably not a fan of, but I think they look cool, especially on a white car. Um, so again, the detail on these pieces is just exquisite. I'm not going to unscrew them from the base, but they do roll. 
I just think that's a very nice looking car. Uh, let's see here. What do we got next? Let's do the Ferrari California T in black right here. And these cases, by the way, these cases came from, I think, some old Johnny Lightning and stuff. They just work really good because they fit the base of the car, of course, in the car, and, and then they're stackable. So that was a fun discovery because I am out of room for Kyosho in my main Carney case. I have a Carney case of 144 cars, and it is full of Kyosho. There's not any other brand in it but Kyosho. And she is chock full. There is not room for any other car, so I'm having to stick them in, in cases like this. So there's your Ferrari California T. And then the next one is the 488 GTB in yellow. Another cool one. They're all cool. And again, more just fun detail and uh, good looking car here. <laughs> really, really cool. And I'm just gonna save the, the best two for last. So we got a few more to go here. Next is the 458 Italia GT2. That's a pretty neat one. Um, not my favorite of all these, but uh, I do have it in two colors, so we got it here in yellow. But look at the detail. Detail motor and stuff in there. There's just a lot going on with these. They're just uh, really, really well done. And you have to put them all together. These, kind of, these came as like model kits, and that was to skirt around some licensing with Ferrari. Um, to make them in 164 so they had to make 164 scale model kits that was the only way they did, could do it with the licensing so that's why when you find these on ebay you're going to find them you know if they're still in the box and they haven't been assembled uh they will come as model kits so they're super easy to put together it's literally like six pieces you don't you, didn't, you don't need any glue or anything they're just held together with two screws basically you put the tires on the rims you put the axles inside the body you put the interior in you slap her together and throw two screws in it and you're done um it takes literally seconds and the nice thing about that too is you have a little bit of control over how tight the base is and that way you can make sure that it does roll and stuff like that make sure the interior is placed in properly you do have a little bit of control over the production process which is Sometimes with these little cars, that's needed. But you're not gluing in mirrors or anything. The body comes with those pre-attached. All this is pre-attached, so it's not like it's something that's difficult to put together. So literally anybody that can turn a screw, righty-tighty, uh, should be able to assemble one of these. So here's the 458 Italia, Italia GT2 in white. Very nice. And then our last two, I can't decide which one of these I like better. So we're just gonna look at this one first. This is the 599XX Evo. This thing is just mean looking. Super cool, um, the 599XX Evo. This thing may not come across too great on camera because it's tough because it's black. But just look at that. You got like that charcoal top. I think that's supposed to be like a carbon fiber. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of like a sparkly thing. And uh, this car just looks pure evil. Just mean. And just very, very cool. I And this is a definitely, I think, an expensive piece if you try to find one of these on the old eBay. And then next is the FXXK. And this thing is wild. This is the last one we've got to look at. So, FXXK, this thing is just crazy looking. It's got some silver in it. It's black. Um, it is a wild looking Ferrari. I believe this is one of those track only Ferraris. Or basically, I think if you buy it, the only place you can actually drive it is on the Ferrari track. 
I'm not sure. I could be completely wrong in saying that. But this thing is just nuts looking. I'm sure it's very, very expensive in real life. And the Kyosho itself is not cheap. So there you go. All right. So that is going to be it for my 2021 top, you know, obviously we did a lot more than 10. But I think I categorized it well. Hopefully I explained it well. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, we'll be back to our normal program next weekend when I'm going to show you some cool stuff. Spoiler alert, there will be some Auto World Ultra Reds involved. As I think you guys should expect. I really have an episode where I haven't acquired a new one. Um, but yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys had a great year for Diecast 2. I know 2021 wasn't a very fantastic year for much else. Besides maybe some small victories. Um, it's, it was a tough year. It, again, not unlike 2020, you know, it was, there wasn't a lot of really cool stuff going on. Uh, but diecast wise, you know, again, we, we are living in the golden age of 164 scale collecting. There is so much cool stuff that comes out all the time. Too much that you can't even collect at all. Too much that you can't, that you have to struggle trying to pick out of top 10. Um, and it's just, it's, we're living in that age right now. I don't know how long this is going to continue. This ride's going to continue, but you know, enjoy it while it lasts. Right? So thank you guys again, very much for watching the channel. I do appreciate each and every one of you that takes the time out of their day to, uh, to listen to me babble about these 164 scale cars and enjoys this little nerdy hobby of ours. Um, I do really appreciate you, and uh, thank you very much. Let's look forward to a great 2022. A lot of cool stuff coming out. Um, just, it's going to be a pretty darn good year for Diecast again. So, all right. Thank you guys very much again. Have yourself a great year. And again, check out the, the Landley Group uh, blog, the website. Um, you can see all of the writer uh, contributions. Uh, for top 10 lists as well as vote on the top 10 you know we did a lot of votes already for best super treasure hunt all that stuff there's been a lot of stuff on the blog um, and on the lambda group uh, instagram page so uh, check that stuff out if you missed it um, go ahead and check it out and then uh, yeah and then again my article should be posted today along with this video so i'll leave a link again down uh, in the description of this video so that you can go read that should you choose to do that and see what i thought were the best castings the best new castings of 2021 all right thank you guys again you guys have a great great day and a great 2022